building on knowledge. Worldwide, half the world's population now live in urban areas. In Germany, that figure is 70%. In order to ensure the sustainable development of these towns and cities, they need the support of research. The Fraunhofer Institute for Building Physics is working alongside partners from research and industry to develop scientific solutions to the problem of ensuring that towns and cities continue to be places worth living in. In the process, challenges such as climate change must remain at the focus of product and systems development, no less than the careful use of energy and resources. The Institute for Building Physics is concerned with all aspects of building relevant to the broader environment. It is our responsibility to find ways of building that minimize input into the environment, and the Institute's second major task is to design buildings in such a way that individuals feel comfortable in them, and increasingly experience them as places where they can work healthily and productively dort leistungsfähig arbeiten können und gesund bleiben. The IBP is subdivided into seven departments. Acoustics. Building chemistry, building biology, hygiene. Energy systems, life cycle engineering, hygrothermics, indoor environment and heat technology. The Fraunhofer IBP offers scientists, engineers and economic planners ideal conditions to develop and test products which minimize the use of resources. The Institute's Holzkirchen branch near Munich, for example, is home to the world's largest open-air testing center for the investigation of building structures, building materials and plant components on a scale of one to one. I think we are unique in two ways. Firstly, in Holzkirchen we operate the outdoor testing site, which is really unique worldwide. Not everyone enjoys the right climate or has the space to run experiments. And here we have the opportunity, for example in the microthermal field, problems with damp in other words, to leave products outside for a number of years and see what changes occur as the products age was sich im Laufe des Alters der Produkte dort verändert. The Department of Building Chemistry, Building Biology and Hygiene also benefits from the open air research facility. It is concerned with the chemical, sensory, biological and hygiene issue which arise on the insides and outsides of buildings and also examines the part concrete technology has to play in this area. The scientists examine, for example, the microbiological stresses imposed on buildings and products by fungi, bacteria, endotoxins and mycotoxins. They develop new test procedures as well as ways to combat undesirable growth. The chemists in the department are concerned, among other things, with unpleasant odors emitted by building materials or in cars and aircraft. To this end, they analyze samples from interiors to pin down the source of the smell with a view to eliminating it. The acoustics department is based in Stuttgart. It also works on behalf of the automotive industry. It develops passive, reactive and active sound insulation components for buildings, as well as alternative sound absorbers and innovative acoustic construction components to reduce the noise made by engines, machines and vehicles. One focus of the department's work is noise insulation in buildings. 
the spectrum of construction acoustic measures ranges from the determination of the sound insulation properties of building components and systems to the noise made by installations and utilities in buildings. The acoustics department at the IBP has more than 20 specialized rooms and laboratories at its disposal. Here at the Institute, we have flexible accredited testing centers. This means that we're authorized to develop and optimize test methods ourselves and to use them. It's very important, of course, for us to employ our basic knowledge and our expertise in this area. For example, in the High Performance Indoor Environment Lab, HIPE for short. Almost half of all employees in Germany work in offices at a computer screen. The acoustics, air quality, room climate and lighting have a decisive influence on the working atmosphere. In the HIP lab, the Fraunhofer scientists can change all these environmental conditions in a targeted manner and display the effects of the changes on the comfort and performance of the employees. The link between indoor climate and individual human comfort is also at the focus of the research projects of the Indoor Environment Department. This includes all enclosed spaces, including aircraft or vehicles. At the Fraunhofer IBP in Holzkirchen, there's a flight laboratory unique in the world. In a low pressure chamber, there's a section of an Airbus, some 15 meters long and with seats for 80 passengers. The Fraunhofer scientists also use this setup to optimize the energy aspects of the plane, from the avionics to the flight deck, the hold and the passenger cabin. In the VERU, that's a German acronym for a modular experimental facility for energy and room climate investigations, the Energy Systems Department takes advantage of realistic environmental conditions. On a one-to-one -one scale to see how individual facade and facility systems interact. After all, the skin of the building is the central interface with the outside world and thus has a decisive influence on the building's energy needs and the comfort of those inside. Modern burners for firewood and wood pallets represent an alternative to heating with oil and gas, provided their flues work efficiently, safely and with low emissions. The Fraunhofer IBP maintains a facility where the suitability and quality of burners and their flues are tested. At the same time, the scientists are developing new tests, methods and materials to further optimize the burning process. More and more new office and commercial premises will be constructed using large area facade units. The calorimetric facade and roof test bed on the premises of the IBP in Holzkirchen allows developers to test large-scale construction elements such as facade units, skylights and multi-layer membrane cushion systems. The measuring box can be turned through almost 360 degrees and be tilted through almost 90. This allows it to track the sun exactly over the course of a day or take up any other desired position. We also develop numerous products. We own very many patents here at the Institute. And for many years, we have been service providers for industry. Because at our various testing sites, we examine products that industry wants to bring on to the market or already has on the market and ensure that these products are fit for purpose. One of these developments is the IBP 18599 family of products. Most of the energy passes in Germany are issued with the core computation module developed by the Department of Heat Technology. 
almost all the software firms have incorporated the module into their products. In addition, the department offers planners and clients a whole series of tailor-made planning and computer tools, with which they can test and improve the energy efficiency of their buildings. Another challenge. Three quarters of the 40 million dwellings in Germany were built before 1979, before the introduction of any thermal insulation regulations. These buildings consume about one third of all the energy needed in Germany. A clear reduction in energy consumption and thus in CO2 emissions is therefore only possible if the housing stock is brought up to modern standards. The Fraunhofer Institute for Building Physics therefore advises on the renovation and refurbishment of older buildings, monitoring and documenting the results. But the IBP develops, assesses and validates energy concepts not just for individual buildings but for whole housing developments and indeed whole towns. The scientists have developed the computer tool Energy Concept Counselor for Urban Neighbourhoods specially for this purpose. It provides a first overview of the energy savings potential. The software costs nothing. It can be downloaded from the internet and is already in daily use with many town and building planners. We have a very good international network. We work with cooperation partners in some 80 countries. This is necessary. Building physics is one of the few sciences whose insights cannot automatically be transferred from one country to another or to a different climatic zone. For example, in Germany in the winter, heat usually moves from inside to out. But that's not the case in Hong Kong. There, the heat moves from outside to in. In other words, you can't optimize a building for the German climate and accept it to work just anywhere else. That's why it's important when we advise a German producer selling his goods overseas for us to look at the climate correlations as well as at the cultural framework in order to work out optimum structures for this location. In the three climate chamber at the Stuttgart location, almost any climate zone in the world can be reproduced. The facility simulates temperature swings from minus 30 to plus 80 degrees Celsius and can reduce relative humidity from 95% to 5. The frequency of storms and other extreme weather events is on the increase worldwide. This is also putting a greater strain, especially on large-scale building components. For this reason, the Hygrothermics department analyzes the heat and humidity behavior of building materials, building components and whole buildings. At the test center for air permeability and driving rain resistance, they are exposed to wind, water and fog. But facades and windows are also exposed to sun and heat. The Hygrothermics department also has a number of solar simulators. They register the degree of radiation and guarantee the reliability of the products in actual use. Windows may be draft-proof, but that's not much use when the insulation of the building is poor. Using the guarded hot plate method, the Fraunhofer engineers can measure the heat conductivity of building and insulation materials across a temperature range of minus 150 to plus 250 degrees Celsius. The materials and products used for a building are largely responsible for its ecological balance sheet. Building products are not just good or bad, their performance must also be judged in the total system against technical, visual and not least ecological criteria. The Department of Life Cycle Engineering analyzes products, processes and services according to ecological, social and technical criteria and draws up meaningful sustainability assessments. Alongside the ecological balance, the Fraunhofer researchers also take account of the life cycle costs of a product or service, 
work on industrial standards and ecological product declarations and support industry to develop eco-friendly products. We shall of course address new topics too. At the moment buildings are very largely consumers of energy, but in the future they will also be producers. We are already in a position to develop plus energy houses, which over the year as a whole feed more energy into the grid than they consume. And then, when we use renewable resources, new questions will arise. How can we use buildings as intermediate energy sinks, for example by turning electrical energy into heat and vice versa, for example heat that we've obtained from solar technology into electricity? These are questions we'll have to face in the future. The Fraunhofer Institute for Building Physics is a reliable partner. Building on knowledge for tomorrow's world.